just got in the first 700 series TLC. This is a 745 in black. Uh, I understand they're making it in white and in the dark walnut and of course polished ebony. First thing noticeable is the keyboard is different from the 600 series. This has the new Grand Touch S keyboard. Still a wooden key, but it's been redesigned. It's got a great feel to it. Really like it. The Yamaha uh, CFX has that nice wide sound, the binaural sample. But what's really great is when you push the Busendorfer, even though it sounds different, it was also much narrower because it wasn't binaural. But now on the 745, there's a binaural sample for the Busendorf. So you get that warmer sound, but that's still, it's spread out. On headphones, I won't do that on the video, but the headphone sound is amazing on both of these. One other cool thing, you've got, you have those pianos, you have an upright piano. You have a Brian Grand. You know, these are other samples that they've had through the years. Warm Grand. Pop Grand. All different pianos. Jazz Grand. Okay. Rock Grand. And Honky Tonk. Besides the pianos, you do have uh, one cool thing on the CLP 700 series is the Forte pianos. This one has two. The, the higher ones will have up to, I think, four different piano sounds. This one is the Mozart and the Chopin. Now listen. First off, I want to hear it. Here's the CFX. So the idea with these other pianos is that they sound more like the period pieces that Mozart or others during the classical period would have performed on so wow whatever don't 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 diss my classical that's Mo that's Mozart and here's the Chopin piano piano that sounds more like the period. Notice the difference to a modern piano. Radical difference, not something I really enjoy, but if I was playing that piece, I'm anxious to see what the teachers think about that because that's really cool. The rest of the voices are very similar. You've got the list of electric pianos just like we had before. Uh, you have organs. They really sound good in this sound system. This is a 100 watt biamp sound system, so it really sounds. The strings are fantastic sounding in this. I think voices, I'm not sure exactly that number, but not a whole lot different from the last time around. Still got the synth pad. Sorry, synth pad. Remember the great thing about these is they can be layered. So you go back to that voice and now you have piano string. string if you're doing something more slow. Yeah. All right. Now, one cool thing that I like um, is, now this is Bluetooth. The 745 has Bluetooth, so I can hook my phone up to it. I'm going to do another video right after this on uh, using the Yamaha Smart Pianist app with the 645 because that's improved. But the rhythm's in here, okay? When I hit the rhythms, I have an 8-beat, a 16-beat, a shuffle, shuffle 2, shuffle 3, gospel, 
eight beat ballad, six eight slow rock, fast jazz, slow jazz, swing, jazz waltz, samba, bossa, rumba, salsa, uh, kids pop, six eight march, Christmas swing, and Christmas three four. So, uh, but but here's the deal. This this time around, they've added what's called a comp bass line. Now you can turn this off or on. Let me just show you how this works. We'll just do a gospel beat, see what that does here. So there's the drum beat, but watch when I play. Hear that bass? involved as a style but with just the added bass line that picks that rhythm section up a great deal let's try something a little different let's go to a how about a nice shuffle tempo's right here Two, two years ago, I guess. So in the launch of this, I'm so happy they added that. That's a really great feature, especially for church players that uh, just want a little bit more feel. Now you gotta be using the drums, so you may not want the drums, but uh, but uh, you know it, it, it has some good potential and you can set all that up in the app. We're gonna talk about the app here in a minute. I think that's all I'm gonna say about this. It does have rhythm. Uh, I can record uh, either MIDI 250 songs just by standard MIDI. And by the way, on here I can stack uh, sound on sound, uh, track on track, 16 times. So I can do that all in MIDI. I can then save that as a WAV file if I have a jump drive in it. Or if I want to bypass that, I can with my thumb drive inserted, I can just record in um, uh, uh, CD quality audio file, WAV. That's the word I'm trying to think of, WAV file. So. Uh, it's very cool. I don't think they added a hard drive on the other. Let me go just to piano. I'm going to go hit record. And I think, yeah, it records just in MIDI unless you have a hard drive put in and then it would, uh, it would, uh, give you the uh, option to have what to record a WAV file. So this is the new CLP 700 series. I just have this one, so I'm not going to sell it. I'm, I'm, there's many more coming. Everything, there's going to be a 635. This, I'm sorry, 735, 745. We'll stock the 765 GP, the 785, and the 795 GP. So we'll have all of those, but they're going to come in between, you know, now and fall and maybe even as late as up into November. So, uh, but we're going to see them all. We already have two or three of these units pre-sold. So come down, get on the list. And when they come in, woohoo! Now, the last thing I'll say, I still have about five of the 600 series left. Fantastic instruments. Um, and we're discounting those. We're paying the tax on them and even more discount than that. So uh, if you want to get a 600 series now, this is the time. 
and uh, they work with the app as well and they do all kinds of cool things so uh, come back next video we'll talk about the app all right thanks for hanging out